So how do we combine spirituality in our normal lives, especially when we leave this heavenly place and go back? So the first and most powerful way, you can imagine this is a common question when people leave, the first and most important way is make sure that when you're here, you're really letting yourself be changed. Only then will it go home with you. If it's only as deep as a suntan, you'll lose it on the airplane home. <laughs> Let that change within you go really deep. It's very easy to feel peaceful when you're away from the stresses and strains of your normal life. But you would get that lying on a beach drinking pina coladas also. There's something very different, deeper, more powerful, more transformative about being here than being on a beach sipping pina coladas. But you've got to make sure that that actual deep transformation happens, not just, oh, I had this nice time away from the stress and strain of my normal life. And that's the work that you need to do while you're here, is really make sure that that transformation is happening inside you. And then when you go back, set up a series of things. There's a lot of different ways. Number one, reevaluate. And some of this you should do while you're here before you get back. It's good work for the plane also is really reevaluate how you spend your time. Some of it we have no control over. It's our jobs. We've got to <coughs> put food on the table. But we've got a lot of time in our hands. And the thing you need to think about is how are you spending it? What's your choice of ways to spend that time? Is it in alignment with your newly transformed self? And if not, then plan before you get back what you're going to do differently and write it down. Otherwise, you get back and you are in the throes of habits, back in the throes of maya. Really make a very concrete plan. These are the activities I'm still going to do. These are the activities I'm not going to do. So my... Morning walk with my close friends, definitely still going to do that. Friday night at the bar, uh, we can skip that. Really think about these things so that you know in advance what you're going into. And then figure out ways to bring your connection into your daily life. Things as simple as when you walk, what do most of us do? We're on our phones. We're talking on it. Or if it's longer, listening to some podcast or something. You know. Well, can you take some time that you're just with yourself? So you're re-grounding, because these are what all of these practices need to do, is they need to reconnect you to the self who is here right now, who's having these experiences. You need to reconnect to her. So find opportunities during the day for just a few moments of silence. Before you eat, close your eyes. Have a few moments of deeply reconnecting. Before you drink water. And... You know, you could choose different things. These are just things we tend to do a lot, so they're good opportunities. Just close your eyes, spend a few minutes reconnecting. Decide that when you're walking, you're just going to be with yourself, with your breath, reconnecting, chanting a mantra. And recognize that this presence of the divine that you feel here 
exists everywhere. Look for it. Make it your daily practice to see whether you can actually see the divine in everyone. We know that the divine is in everyone. Can you see it? Just make it your daily practice. It won't be easy. That's okay. It's not about how much you succeed. It's not about what percentage of people you actually could see the divine in. It's about an intention. That instead of looking at them as physical beings, fat, thin, tall, short, white, black, brown, rather than that, can you, can you actually look in everyone's eyes and see the divine in them? Or at least intend to. It'll change your entire way of moving through the world. You're checking out at the grocery store. Can you look in the eyes of the person checking you out and see the divine? Instead of thinking, oh my God, why is she so slow? Can you actually look? Look in our eyes, or his eyes, and see the divine. And then keep coming back and recharging your batteries.